What's up, fam? Mr. Country CEO back in the house again, man. Look, welcome back to the channel, subscribers, family, and friends. It is a September to remember. Uh, we are into our second week of videos now. Last week, I gave you some gems about uh, just thinking about my book, How to Get Started. So I gave you some gems on getting started. On this week, we want to talk about some gems about how to find the work. I uh, started off last Monday with a video about vision. I want to start off again this week with a video about vision. All right. And so that's where we will begin. All right. And so we know that, uh, you know, uh, if you're in the business and then you have to to visualize uh, yourself working and doing major business in this business. Right. Again, biblical foundation is without a vision, people perish. Right. All right. And so you got to have a vision for seeing your truck and or trucks. Uh, working on particular jobs and things of that nature, right? And so uh, if I'm you, then I'm that person that's riding around visualizing my trucks working for asphalt companies, working for road building companies, working for construction companies that are doing major construction jobs in your city and your town, right? You got to you got to see it before you see it. You got to have vision uh, for that kind of thing, right? So here's some strategic things when it comes to when you're thinking about finding the work uh, for your particular truck, right? You got to visualize, okay, what's your strategy, right? Have a vision. Okay, I won't work. Let's just say your vision is I won't work. I want to have major work. I right, then, so what's your strategy then to make that happen? Uh, just to give you a uh, little things that can go into that, you know, uh, who I need to talk to. Uh, well, uh, what companies do I need to talk to, right? Uh, who is Who do I need to talk to at the company? Let me put it that way. What companies are doing it? What company I need to talk to? Who do I need to talk to at that company? How do I sell myself, right? If you don't have a vision, you, you can, you're not going to be able to sell yourself if you can't uh, be able to visualize where you want to be, right? So you need to develop a concept of who you are and what you want your business to be, vision, and also so when you go in and talk to these people, you can sell yourself, right? If you can't, if you don't know where you're going, how can you sell somebody else on where you're going? If you don't know what you're capable of doing, how can you sell somebody else on what you're capable of doing, right? So you got to have a vision. If, if you don't have a vision, that thing is dead, right? All right. You're going to end up all over the place, talking all over this, talking that. All right. And uh, you're not going to, you're not going to be able to impress and uh, get an opportunity, right? All right. Um, uh, you got to be able to paint a picture for folks on where you want to be, not where you are. Talk boy, right? You got to paint a picture for people on where you want to be uh, and where you see yourself as opposed to where you are right now, right? You might see me be one truck, but sir, I'm a five, 10 truck guy. Yes, sir. I just got started, but uh, I'm well on my way and I see myself with Troy and Troy, right? You got to talk that talk, man. You got to talk that talk and you can only talk that talk if that's a vision that you're continuing to develop in your life for yourself, for your vision, right? Man, in fact, let me back up. You got to have a vision for your life. As I said on the previous vision video, what's your vision for your life, man? Ma'am, if you can't see, you don't know where you want to go and where you want to be. Uh, I heard a great preacher in our local area say that one time. He said, if you don't have a vision for where you want to go, you end up anywhere. You subject to end up anywhere. Uh, if you don't have a goal that you're trying to hit, how do you know that you've hit it? Right. Vision. All that speaks to vision, man. Sit back, dream, chew on that thing, meditate. Uh, 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 I'll leave you with this as it relates to developing that vision, especially when it comes to the work. You got to see it before you see it. Uh, a cow has several stomachs. And if you ever notice when you pass by a pasture, you see a cow laying down, he, he, he's constantly doing that. And then you might come back home and you look over there, you see that same cow still sitting there, he, and I've always wondered, I said, well, dog, he's still chewing. And here's what I discovered in a little research on cows. Cows got several stomachs and they constantly swallow and regurgitate to get the nutrients out of what they've already swallowed. Talk Jones! That's what meditation and dreaming is, just like that. Swallowing and but regurgitating and thinking it over again, getting more nutrients out of swallowing, regurgitating, getting more nutrients out of. How does that equate to what I'm talking about? That means dreaming and visioning what I want to do, what I want to be, where I want to go, digesting it, 
regurgitating it, bringing it back up, thinking on it some more and how I could tweak it. And what about this? And what about that? And what if I have this challenge? How would I, how would I deal with that? That's what you need to be doing about that vision, especially when it pertains to that work. Right. And I'm going to, let me show you one detriment if you don't do that and how it's been a detriment to some of these guys out here. I met guys when I came into the business hauling off the rock yard. And for here, here, now, this is not Vulcan in some of y'all cities. Vulcan is a major thing, paying major money. But here, um, rock yard is kind of, I ain't going to say it's the bottom of the barrel, but it's the place you go when you ain't got nothing. They give occasional big jobs. You can go make some money. But really, it's where you go when you ain't got nothing. Right. Well, I'm here to tell you, after five years in business, some guys were still at the rock yard. I had, left, I had moved from the rock yard. I had moved out of the rock yard in about a year or two. I was gone from the rock yard because I quickly realized and had envisioned myself working for companies. Right. Ten years later, there were still some guys on the rock yard. Fifteen years later, I was in the business. There were still some guys on the rock yards. Twenty years later, I'm not bullcrapping y'all. There were still some guys off the rock yard because they never envisioned themselves doing anything else. I would work some of those guys. After they were finished with me, they go back to the rock yard. <laughs> after they saw the example of what a real longevity of work was, they still were back to the rock yard because they didn't have a vision for that business. I'm giving y'all some game, man. That's million dollars right there. Hit the like and subscribe notification bell. I'm gone.